We're going to look at some techniques that are helpful in making something like a carpet design in Tinkercad and in addition to practicing some skills that are useful in many scenarios, we'll also see how we can make our work easier because we'll basically be using computational thinking like we might in coding. So to make this carpet, first I'll drag out a cylinder and I like to increase the sides to the max of 64. Then I'll make the height one millimeter. Next, the diameter is going to be 110. I'll drag a box on and click Fit View to Selected Shapes to zoom in. I'll make the box 9x9, nine nine, and I'll look at it from above so I can use the double arrow rotation tool to rotate it remembering that if I keep my mouse inside the degrees ring, it will rotate in nice even increments of 22 and a half degrees, so I can easily hit 45 degrees here. The background of the carpet is one millimeter high, so I'll make this diamond shape 1.25 millimeters, so it stands above by just a touch. I'll put it more or less in the bottom middle. We can think of this as if I just wrote a line of code. I could keep repeating the dragging out, resizing, and positioning of the diamonds, but in coding, if you're typing the same code or using the same block over and over, you're likely missing an opportunity to use a loop or function. So with the diamond selected, I'll click on the duplicate and repeat button, and I'll be sure not to click anywhere else. I'll use my up arrow key to move the copy of the diamond I just made up a bit, still not clicking anywhere else. Now, every time I hit duplicate and repeat, it positions a new diamond with the same spacing. We're almost using a loop like you would in coding. Now let's make a function. I want to group the diamonds together, so I can click each individually while holding shift, or I can drag the circle away and draw a box over all the diamonds. Then I click group or type control G. Now, to align the two shapes with the Align button or by typing an L, hitting the middle circles on each side. Next, we can think of looping the function. I'll use the Duplicate and Repeat button again, and I'll rotate the grouped diamonds by 45 degrees. A couple more clicks of duplicate and repeat, and the design is set. And I'll group the red portion, then align everything. If I want to make a border, I'll put on a cylinder that is a few millimeters bigger than the orange background. I'll duplicate the background, raise up the copy, and turn it into a hole. Then align it with the border shape, group them, then I'll align and group all three remaining shapes. I can do the same kind of a move with a square for a square border. Okay, there's a quick look at making carpets in Tinkercad with some computational thinking thrown in.